Hello, this is uh, the fourth um, screencast for about economic attention allocation networks for OpenCog. Um, this is where I'm going to talk about the last um, mind agents of the four that are involved and um, well, the four that are implemented and um, also involved in the Hopfield Network um, Associative Memory Demo. Um, so the next tutorial will be about the actual Hopfield Network. This one's just going to cover the mind agent called the Forgetting Agent. And it will be pretty brief and quick. It's basically just um, show uh, forgets um, links and nodes or atoms in general that have um, a low LTI. Um, at, and assuming that the the very long term importance is not set to being permanent. Um, so the details are here in the Doxygen comment. We'll just skip right into the um, the actual code itself. Um, there are two two uh, parameters to the mind agent. The first is the forgetting threshold here, um, and the other is the percentage of um, atoms to forget. Um, here I put maximum LTI of a link that can be forgotten. That's just uh, me uh, erroneously putting in um, assumptions from the work I was doing with the Hopfield network. It's actually any atom at all um, that can be forgotten. And so what this um, for the logic of the forgetting agent is that all if if you set either of these, you can leave each of these blank um, or to to a, uh, a value that isn't appropriate. So by default, the forgetting threshold is, um, I think, just uh, the maximum value possible, so that anything can be forgotten, and the maximum percentage, uh, the percentage that's forgotten is zero. So if you don't set the parameters, it's just set; to, it it won't do anything. But if you set the forgetting threshold to being um, a different value, so if you make it um, sort of lower than the maximum, then anything underneath that gets forgotten. So you probably don't want to make it, you, you want to make it as low as possible. Um, oh, actually, I got, got the logic there mixed up. By default, it's um, uh, the minimum LTI possible, so that anything that's below it is forgotten, and if you increase the forgetting threshold, then you know anything that's m more of the um, atom space becomes potentially able to be forgotten, and it's the same with the percentage that's forgotten. Except with the percentage, that's um, it's kind of like a maximum. So you might say anything that's below um, negative ten LTI um, will be forgotten, but then only the the lowest five percent of atoms that are below negative 10 LTI are forgotten. So, and um, down here there's a, um, a sort for sorting handles according to their um, LTI and it will, it will forget those with the lowest LTI to begin with. And this is a very basic um, forgetting algorithm as you can see from what I've explained. Um, and in the future uh, there's been some discussion about how we might do it so that we, we bear in mind how difficult it is to um, recreate the knowledge that we're forgetting. So if there's, if, if it can easily be, the knowledge can easily be recreated from looking at the neighboring nodes or if there's a, appropriate abstraction for um, what already exists, then we may give those nodes or atoms a greater likelihood of being forgotten. Um, but for now, this is a basic um, forgetting agent. So thank you for watching this screencast, and I hope you'll watch the next one on the Hotfield Hot demo, um, Hotfield network emulation demo. Cheers.